Hey everybody, welcome to another class on phrasal verbs, okay? Um, I don't know how many classes on phrasal verbs we've done. It must seem like like 10 classes, maybe 11 classes. That's been a, a long-standing class. So anyway, with phrasal verbs, it's combinations of words together with verbs that make up a, another meaning, okay? Uh, in learning these phrasal verbs, basically you just have to go through and continue to drill just to grab these different sets of phrasal verbs and learn those as you go along, okay? Uh, I'm going to share with you right now a way that you can um, get reservations, okay? Here's a way that you can get reservations. So you just go here to verbling.com forward slash get dash reservations, okay? And the reason you'd want to have reservations is that way you guarantee that you have a seat in class, okay? I'll give you guys that link. When you go there, what you can do is you can upgrade to a premium account. You can invite friends. There's a video to watch. You can connect with Facebook. And you can also like us on Facebook as well. Okay. Hey, buddy. No problem, buddy. Okay, and everybody in the chat, hello, everyone. Hey, Red. Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, uh, by mm -hmm. the way, happy birthday, best wishes from Colombia. Oh, best wishes from Colombia? Yep. And where is my cake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did, I, did, I didn't hear you yet. Best wishes from Colombia, but thank you. Thank you. So, so good. Good, good. I appreciate that. So, um, let's see here. Let's see who all is in here. Okay, wow, this class is really filling up. Oh, there's Dia. Hey, Dia. Hi, Dia. Yeah, Dia, Dia, you're having some problems there with your microphone again, okay? You're going to have to get that fixed. No, Dia, doesn't doesn't work that way, okay? All right? So, okay, good. I think everybody's starting to like these, um, starting to like these phrasal verb classes. Hello, Mon. Okay. Hello, Ozuk. Hi, Ozuk. Yeah, hey Dia, hey Dia, hey Dia, 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 there's problem. yeah, but Dia, Dia, there's problems with your microphone, it's too loud, you've done this before, Dia, we can't, Dia, Dia, you have to get that fixed, okay, we can't burn our ears up, uh, Auguste, so Auguste, yeah, so Auguste, um, what's going on is, you have a verbling window open, okay, so close the verbling window, leave the Google Plus Hangout window open. Okay? All right? Yeah, and then once you're ready, start talking. Okay, so Alejandro. Hello. Hey, Alejandro. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Franco. Hello, Franco. Hello, teacher. Hello, student. How are you, Franco? I'm good, and you? Doing well, doing well, Franco. Thanks. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Johnny Rosero. Okay. Hey, Slim. Welcome to class, Slim. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey. Good, 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 Slim. Good. Good to see okay. you. Good to see you as well. Uh, Larissa. Hello. Hi, Larissa. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, good. And hey, guys, make sure you keep your microphone muted when you're not speaking because we can hear typing, different things like that. Okay. Hey, Ogzu. So, yeah, there's just a lot of 
there's echo coming from you, okay? It's a lot of echo. So what you need to do is you need to either wear a headset like you see with everybody else, okay? You see that, okay? Even me, I have a headset on. Uh, or otherwise try to figure out what's going on, okay? And I'll give you a link, Ogzoop. But um, you need to get that fixed, okay? And we're not going to spend a lot of time trying to, uh, to fix it for you, okay? So try to get that fixed so you can stay in class. Otherwise, you'll have to leave class. I'm sorry, these are just the rules here, okay? All right. Okay, so where are you from, Larissa? I'm from Brazil. Okay, good, good, fantastic, fantastic. Hello, Mon. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Mon? Do you have, do you have some sort I'm of new fine, camera? Thank you. Hi. you have some sort of new you camera? Me that, now? That <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know what happened to my uh, camera. It's just okay. gone. Come, it's okay. gone. Yeah, yeah. Ogzuk, I'm, I'm sorry, Ogzuk. Yeah, you you have to fix that, Ogzuk. It's just too too crazy. Um, hey, Johnny, we can hear you now. How are you, Johnny? I'm okay, teacher. Thanks. Good, with good. Uh, some, with uh, some trouble with my connection, but I'm good. <laughs> yeah, with the the exception of your connection, right? You have a problem with your connection. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. By the way, guys, I'm going to give you all a link here. If you're having problems with your uh, connection, that'll help out a lot. Okay, that DNS there. Where, where you? I'm sorry. Where are you from again, Johnny? Where'd you say you're from? I'm from Colombia, but right now I'm living in Panama. Panama, okay, good, good, yeah. good. All right. So um, let's see who else. Uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Talat. Yes. How are you? Yes. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you, sir. Okay, good. You're welcome. I'm all right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, yep. Hello. And where, where are you from, Muhammad? I'm from Egypt. Okay, good. Good. Well, welcome to class. Hello, Thias. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just reading Shay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Shay's always a crack up. Good to see you, Shay. Good to see you in the chat. Um, so very good. Always fun stuff. Okay, so so on to phrasal verbs. Uh, so phrasal verbs, with learning phrasal verbs, the only way that you really learn it is just to continue going through these lists, okay? It's just like irregular verbs, the way that you learn it, um, or the way you learn them, okay, is just to continue to go through the list and practice those as you go along, okay? So that's the only way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here. Each student is going to do two of these, okay? All right, two of these, and we'll continue. I'll try to give examples. If you have questions, please ask me, okay, so that I can answer those for you. All right, so let's, um, Alejandro, can you do number one and number two? Okay. Go ahead, number one. Uh, sorry. I'm like the plane took over 40 minutes late. Uh, mm -hmm. Number two. Uh huh. It took off. Took off. Oh, I'm sorry. It took off. It's okay. So what happens is a plane will take off. Okay. It'll take okay. off from the runway. Also, too, a person can take off. So maybe you and I are at a party, and they'll say, "Where'd Brett go? Oh, he took off." about 10 minutes ago, okay? Right? Okay. And again, guys, yeah, don't don't uh don't worry, guys. This is difficult, okay? All right? Okay. And again, uh, I'm just going to try to help you by giving examples as we go along, all right? So go ahead, number 2. Okay, number 2. I'm delighted to say that I intend to take To take, uh, wait. Take up your offer. 
Mm hmm Yep. I'm going to take you up on your offer. I'm going to take you up on that invitation. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm okay. going to take you up on your invitation to the dinner date, different things like that. Okay, good. Good. Okay, body, number three. I feel I know uh, I'm now ready to take more responsibility, take on. Mm-hmm. Yep, so you take on more responsibility. I'm going to take on a new job, okay? I'm going to take on um, more responsibility. You also, you can say, I, oh, no, one, one other thing. You can also use take on. So I'm going to take on the government, okay? That's another way. So it's like you go against something when you take on as well, okay? Go ahead, go ahead body. Number four. Harry will lead the first part of the Hey Slim, make sure you mute your microphone when you're typing, okay, Slim? All right. I'm sorry. It's okay, Slim. Um, go ahead, body number four. Harry will lead. Hmm. I think maybe his connection went down. Hey guys, try not to take too many pictures, okay? All right, um, Barack. Hi, Barack. Are you there? Hello, Barack. Okay. Hi, Barack. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, Franco, Franco, can you do number four? I think body's connection is bad. Yes, sir. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, Harry will lead the, the first part. Of the of the discussion and then Susan will take will take will take over will take over. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, it's take over. Mm -hmm. So we'll take over from yeah. Yep. Yep. So maybe uh, maybe your maybe your brother's watching your little sister, and then you say, "Hey, I'll take over watching her." Okay, so you're doing something, somebody's doing something, so you take it over from them. Also, responsibility. So somebody might have a job that they're doing at your company, and now you're going to take over that job or take over that responsibility. Okay? okay. Right. So go ahead, number five and number six. Continue. Number five. There is so much to learn in this new job. I find it hard to take it all, to take it all, no, to take it all, there is so much to learn in the job, I find it to take it all. It's okay. No, to take it all on? It's to actually take it. take it in, okay? So when you're given a lot of information, it's hard to take in all of this information. So there's a new job, so you're having to learn that. I find it hard to take it all in. So, you know, all the responsibilities, the way to do the job. I find it hard to take it in. Go ahead, number six. I'm under socks. A lot of a lot of stress at work. I'm thinking about taking 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 up yoga? Mm -hmm. Taking up and it's yoga. Yoga. I know you yeah. have that. Yeah. You have that J sound left over. Um, but it's yoga. Yoga. Okay. Yoga. Mm -hmm. okay yep. Yep. Okay. So good. So sometimes you take up a new sport. You take up a new hobby. All right. You want to take up a new girlfriend or take up a new boyfriend, though. You don't do that. Okay. But sports, hobbies, different things like that. All right, and you don't take up a diet either, okay? But other things you can take up. Johnny, hey Johnny, number seven. Uh, okay, teacher. <clears throat> we're we're spending fast. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Okay. We're spending fast. We've already taken over. Uh, this one in here, so it's taken on. So what's happened is you've taken on. Also, taken in fits as well. 
So yeah, you have new employees. So we're expanding. Our company is growing. It's expanding. Okay. So we've already taken on 122 new employees. Okay. okay. Number eight. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead. Me. He fought. He fought me totally. I was completely taken. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, take it on. Actually, taken take in. on. Okay, taken in. Yeah, take yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very confusing. Yeah, no, me. no. Listen, guys, this is, this is very confusing. Okay, these can be very confusing, so don't worry. And some of them um, are very similar to each other, so that's why it can be confusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So. I don't know when I need to use take up, take in, take off, to cover. Okay, and, and it's very confused to me when I need to use that word. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so yeah. I mean, just by going through this, looking at the various answers and seeing the context, that's how that's how you can figure out, you know, which of the takes. Okay. So, like okay. take okay. off, you'll know is when you when you leave somewhere. But also, too, yeah. you know, take off, you could say, hey, take off your clothes. You know, it's another take off, right? So, um, okay. you know, so there's other other things as well, okay? So the, there's, no, there's no real good answer except <laughs> to continue to <laughs> study these, look at the answers, and look for other resources as well that's going to give you, um, you know, different phrasal verbs, okay? Just do a search for, like, ESL phrasal verbs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you if you may be in the next classes uh, if you can to do a list about these examples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so what you can do, mm -hmm. yep, I understand what you're saying. Okay. So what you can always do if you have a suggestion like that, okay? You can just go here. Let me show you. Okay. Yeah, you can go here. Okay. So yeah, so us teachers we have our own little Pages set up, okay, for verbling. So you can just okay. go here. You can just go here and um, basically write some suggestions. You can send me a message there. Or otherwise, you can write some suggestions on the wall for different classes that you like. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thanks. I'm pretty open. Pretty open. It. You're welcome. And then after you write those, though, make sure that you uh, check back there. And also, too, you want to check here, okay? Uh, let me see in here one second. You want to check here just to see uh, what classes I have coming up, okay? Ah, Don't worry, I'll fill in all okay, those. Okay, okay. So that way you can see where the class is. Okay, it'll also, tell you, yeah, it'll also tell you what classes are going on right now, okay? And then any recorded classes from later. Okay, so that's that's okay. that's how you can get to me and um, get me to do some of those different things there. Okay, so good. Okay. Uh, let's Thanks, see. teacher. You're welcome. Mon, number nine, please. Okay. Uh, my mother is sick, so I'm going to have to take some time off work and go back home and see her. So you take time off of work. Uh, Maybe you take time off of um, writing your book. You take time off of school. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Number ten. <clears throat> okay, uh, they intend to buy majority of shares and take up the company. Actually, what happened? Take over the company. Yep, exactly, exactly. So you've heard of like corporate takeovers, things like that. So shares. Shares in a company, so a company is divided up into shares, and you have shareholders. If you have a majority, okay, that's 50% or more, or pardon me, it's more than 50% when you have a majority, and that way you can run the company. So he's going to take over and run the company. Okay, so let's continue on here. So here's the next one. Okay. All right. So um, hello, Mohammed. Yeah, and by the way, guys, I put the links mm -hmm. in um, 
Yeah, so Rodrigo, let me just let me just show Rodrigo so Rodrigo can figure this out, okay? So Rodrigo, if you look at the classes, okay? So if you look at the classes, Rodrigo, the links are right here, okay? All right. So yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, better to be self-sufficient than me continuing to give out a link every time. Okay, so um, Muhammad, Muhammad uh, Safwat, are you there? Yeah. So Muhammad, unmute your microphone, okay? Yeah, but Muhammad, I can't hear you. Okay. So Muhammad, let me give you a link here. So I'm going to put a link in the chat, Muhammad. If you're having issues, go ahead and get that fixed. But you do need to get things working, though, okay? Um, Muhammad Talat. Yes. Hi. Hi, Muhammad. Can you uh, answer number one, please? By the way, guys, again, keep your microphones muted when you're not speaking, okay? Go ahead, Muhammad, number one, please. All right. When don't you sit? Set through. Set through your ideas in a memo so then we can uh, discuss those. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, but uh, it shouldn't be through. Uh, set about or set down. I think set about or set down actually. Set down your ideas. Okay. Also, like okay. put down your ideas. So a memo. A memo is like a sheet that you're writing on, right? Okay. Number uh, number two. The bad weather seems to have really set uh, out early this year. Actually, it sets in. It sets in. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the snow has really set in. The rainy season has really set in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So here we go. Okay, number three. Okay, uh, Ag Agzu or Agus. Hi, Agus. Hi, everybody. Hey, Agus. So Agus, good. You have everything working again, Agus. And sometimes you guys get upset, like, well, why did the teacher uh, kick me out of the class? But sometimes that's the only re only way to get you guys to get things fixed. Okay, so, so no problem. And All Agus. Right. This yep, is the, my first time, so yeah, I don't no, know exactly Agus, how this It's no problem. It's no problem. Relax. It's working now. That's the main thing, Agus. So it's all good. All right, where, are you, where are you from? Turkey. Okay, good. You know Turkey? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of students from Turkey um, that take classes here on Verbling. Very, very good. Uh, go ahead, Agus. Can you read number three, please, and tell me the answer? Okay. Don't smoke, or you will set uh, set off the fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Number four. If we have to let an environmentalist exam examine the NIF NIF site, that will set. Uh, I don't know exactly this. It's okay. So, when environmentalist, do you know what an environmentalist is? Yeah. So, yeah, so an environmentalist. Yeah. Hey, um, hey, Muhammad. Muhammad, you're having issues with your microphone, and it's really, really loud, Muhammad. Yeah, no, but it's really loud. I, you need to go get that checked, okay? It's all right. Um, yeah, Muhammad, what you should do is go have a hangout with one of your friends, okay? Then check your microphone. So you find one of your friends. Hopefully you have friends. Okay, um, some people don't, but uh, what you'll do is just go and, oh, you don't? Okay. Um, well, yeah, try your cat then. See if your cat will do a hangout with you. But, yeah, go and check and see if you can get things working. Okay, Muhammad? Because right now it's a little too loud, okay? It's all right. You can come back later, though. Uh, Agus, number four. So an environmentalist. So what an environmentalist is, is this is somebody, and they're, they're good people. This is somebody who likes the environment. They try to help out to make sure we don't cut down all the rainforest. We don't pollute all of our rivers. But when environmentalists come and 
look or examine the new site. The reason that they're doing this is trying to tell you, hey, listen, you don't have your rainwater set up. You don't have this set up right. So it ends up taking more time because you have an environmentalist there that's looking over everything. So building will set back, set back, okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to set back the time that it takes to build everything because these environmentalists come, okay? So that's the good and bad about the environmentalists. So good, good, Agus. Very good. So this is all there is to these classes. Very simple. Nice to meet you, Agus. Nice to meet you. Me too. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Rodrigo. Go ahead, Rodrigo, number five. Okay, teacher, uh, number five. She was clearly the best candidate. Her communication skills set her apart from the other candidates. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so her communication I skills. So she. You have what? What's that? I, I have a problem with my voice. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's okay. Don't worry, you're doing fine. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. set apart. So set apart means different, okay? That shows a difference between that one, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, the student in class uh, set herself apart from the others because she always got every answer right. Okay, that car uh, is set apart from the other cars since it's so much faster than the rest. Okay, all right, go ahead, Rodrigo. Number six. Number six. We can set off the expenses against tax. Okay, we can set off the expenses against the tax. Okay. Um, and yeah, this one's a little tough. We can set off the expenses against tax. Um, yep. Okay, so set off. So like to set against, right? So the expenses, you can set those off against the tax. So it's going to deduct those. So you don't have to pay for that. Okay, good. And where are you from, Rodrigo? Uh, I'm from Brazil. Okay, good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Slim. Hello, Slim. Yes. Hello. Number seven. Okay. I want to, my daughter to go to the university, but she's dead. Set um, against the idea. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Good. You saw in the sentence the but, right? Okay. So that turned it into this part being negative against the other, and dead set against yes. against the idea. Mm -hmm. When you're against something, um, you know you just don't want any part of it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Next I, one. It will take it will take us weeks to set a new protection unit to set up a new mm -hmm. protection of. Uh, the, Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Yep. Very good. Um, you need to set up a new production unit. I need to uh, to set up the tent. You know, if you're out camping, you need to set up the tent. Uh, we need to set up the, the new table. Different things like that. Okay. Good. Uh, Alejandro, number nine. Okay. We were convicted by the labor tribunal, but the conviction was set. Mm -hmm. Aside so, by the higher court. Mm -hmm. Yep. So set aside. So I'm going to um, I'm going to set set aside the uh, the I don't know the prosecution. I'm going to set aside this dish, okay? It's where you put things to the side there. Okay, so uh, in this case, this was set aside by the uh, higher court. So they're convicted, but it's set aside. Lucky them. Number 10. Okay. The advantage of the project seems more when set. Okay, think about, about advantages. 
Well, think about advantages and disadvantages. They're opposites, right? They're opposites. Okay. So think about that. Mm -hmm. Set against. Seem, seem small. One set against the disadvantage. Mm, exactly, exactly. So the advantages were set against the disadvantages, okay? Again, it's when you oppose something, when you have opposing things. Okay, so good, good. All right. Um, let's see, Franco, you're welcome. Franco, number 11. Okay. Someone tried to break into the factory last night. The word suck the dog. Uh, Set the dog. Set the dog out. No. Uh, actually, set him. You set him on. Okay. You also say with the dog. Uh, you sicked the dog on him as well. Okay. But yeah, set the dog on him. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. to cause the dog to go after him. Okay. Number twelve. Your terms of employment are set. Set out in your contract. Um, set uh set. Hmm, set out. Ah, yeah, yeah. This one's tough. Yeah, set out. I thought it could also be set with. Again, don't worry. Phr phrasal verbs are even hard sometimes mm -hmm. with us native speakers as well. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. set out in your contract. Okay. All right. So set out in the contract, uh, set out in the rules of engagement, different ways that they're set out. Okay, Johnny, number 13. And you might be muted, Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Hmm. Okay. Continue on. Mon, hey, Mon, number 13. Um, hello? Uh-huh, go ahead, Ma, number 13. Um, Ma, I can't see your screen, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm okay. Well, here, I'll give you, I'll give you the link again. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome, and it's number 13, okay? Okay, and we'll have Johnny, Johnny take number 13. Are you there now, Johnny? Go ahead, Johnny, number 13. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Johnny. I don't know what happened with my connection, teacher. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Number 13, John. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Johnny. Number 13, please. Okay. <clears throat> the film is set. Wait, wait. I can see, I cannot see the, the screen, your screen, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, the film is set. Set up. Um, actually, the it's against the American Civil War. Yeah, so we talk about ah, backgrounds. Dance. Yeah, so set against the background of the war. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, yeah, okay. things like that, like a background set against. Go ahead, number fourteen. Me too. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, I cannot see your screen yet. I cannot see your screen, teacher. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I provide the links before class, so you can click on the links. I provide the links in the chat during class, you know. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't okay. know what what else I can do. Our office. Is set from the main road so that we are not disturbed by the noise of the traffic. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. Set back from the main road. Mm -hmm. Set back from the main road. Okay, so it's away from it. It's back away from it. Hello, Mon, number fifteen. Hello, Mon. Uh, such. So it's such a big job that I don't even know how to sit. 
um, about a mm -hmm. yep yep so we set about on our journey we set about um, uh, working for him different things like that good good mod okay, number 16 this project has set department apart from um, this one's kind of tough. So if you have two different th two things like that, so a set department against department. Okay. Okay. So okay. So um. So good, Mon. Uh, hello, Monica. How are you, Monica? Hello. Yep. So Monica, make make sure that you um, you have a nice quiet environment, Monica. Okay. So right now you have different people talking in the background things like that okay it's a little too loud make sure your backgrounds a little quieter okay okay Monica number 17 okay so Johnny chill out for one second on the uh, on the muting okay Johnny all right so go ahead Monica number 17 what I have to do uh, you have to read Read Sorry. It and answer it. It's okay. You have to read it and answer it. No. Yeah. I have to read and answer. Mhm. Mm yep. So wait because I can see anything. Okay. Well, the links in the chat. The links also in the class description. Okay. So I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. We'll skip you for now. But hey, hey. Hey, um, listen, Monica. It's just too loud. Your background's too loud. You can't have people talking like that. Okay, all right, and yelling and, and punching each other. Uh, Mine, hello, Mine. Hello. Hey, good. <laughs> the fra phrasal verb queen is here. So good, good, good. So go ahead, Mine. Number seven. I'm, gl I'm glad your connection's working working now. So good. Number seventeen, please. Okay, um, I think you need to set, um, set on time. No. Um, actually, no, it's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to reorganize your, you need to set some time to reorganize your files on this computer. So that's kind of like when you, um, when you're doing something extra. So what happens is you set aside some time, okay? okay. Also, too many. Uh, if if we were in a physical school environment, you could come to me and you could say, "Excuse me, teacher, can you set aside some time to work on more phrasal verbs with me?" Okay. Okay. So that's when okay. you set aside something. Okay. Set aside. Okay. Yeah, and, and, also, and also too, you set aside money. So Christmas is coming. Make sure that you set aside money for gifts. Okay. Make sure okay. that you set aside money for the mosque. Just different things like that. Okay. Number 18. Okay. Number 18. A new version of this machine would set us back $10,000. Exactly. Just about any time when you're talking about money and paying for things, okay? Yeah. It sets you back. <laughs> yeah, I know horrible, that horrible. expression. <laughs> I know it all too well. <laughs> so, anyway, that's life. Good By to the see way, you happy birthday again. Today is oh, your birthday, I think. Yes, so. thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, that's a good thing about being in so many different time zones. You can celebrate it for about 48 hours. So, it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Minnie. So, uh, Mohammed, go ahead, Mohammed. Are you, is everything working now? You're going to blow our ears out? For about 48 hours. So yeah. Oh, hey. So let's see. So Mohammed and Muhammad. So Mohammed is thing. Are things working? No. Okay. So yeah. It, don't don't come to class if things aren't working. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But if if it's not working, just just hang out. Hang out. Okay. <laughs> so um, it's okay. You'll you'll find your way home. Don't worry, um, Muhammad Muhammad Talat. Good number nineteen. You. You. It's okay. Can you can you 
Yeah, number 19, I didn't set. I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well, we'll go on to the next one, okay, Muhammad? And guys, um, just, you know, just, just be ready, okay? If you can't see, then there's a link, right? Um, Agus. Hi, Agus. Number 19, please. Yeah, and it's okay. Unmute yourself. Click that red microphone, Agus. Mm -hmm. It's okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I didn't set, uh, set true to do this, but I am pleased with the result. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this. I'm pleased with the result. So he's had to take care of some tasks. Okay, so he's had to spend some time with this. So set out. I didn't set out to do this, but I'm pleased with the result. Okay, so and it's all right. So when you're at work, maybe maybe this week you set out to increase your sales by 20%. Okay, that could be at work. In your home life, maybe what you do is you set out to uh, improve your children's uh, test scores. Okay? So those are times when you set out. So he didn't set out to do this, but he's pleased or happy with the result. Number 20. It's quite a long journey, so we should uh, set, set on early. Uh, yeah, actually, set out. Okay, so journey, task, it's all right. <laughs> no problem. I always, I always feel so bad with this class because I feel like I'm just abusing everybody. You know, people come here like, oh, my gosh, what is this teacher doing? He doesn't care about anybody. He's just, um, he just uh, is, is out there just uh, trying to abuse these folks. So, anyway, so let's, uh, let's continue on here. Uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, can you do number one, please? Okay, so let's go on to the next person. Uh, Alejandro, number one. Okay. You never realize he is pretty angry until he suddenly. Mm -hmm. Blaze up. Blazes up. Yeah, I wonder if this Blazes is like a, up. Yeah, this is like a UK thing. So we don't we don't usually blaze up as much. We blow up. We blow up when we get mad in the US. Okay? So we blow up. Okay. So we do. Okay, number two. Okay. It took us several years to build up our market share in Korea. Mm -hmm. To um, build up, exactly. Very good. Build up. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we had to build up a new sales team. We had to uh, build up uh, our finances again. We had to build up our market share, like it says in Korea. Very good. Very good. Okay. okay. All right. So we'll continue on. Uh, Danilo. Yeah, am I here? Mm -hmm. Number three, Danilo. All these extra orders mean that we will need to... All these extra orders mean that mm -hmm. we... Yeah, so extra orders, meaning people are buying more. Okay, so you have extra orders. You have yeah. more work to do to fulfill the orders. So what does it do to your workforce? We will need to, what we need to do, you need to increase it. So we say bump up, okay, bump up. Uh -huh, huh. So, okay. yeah, uh, there was a, we need to bump up the interest rate, all right? We need to um, bump up, like it says here, the workforce. Okay, number four. Oh, okay, number four. Our plans for expansion were almost ready, but I think that the downturn in the economy will something every time up. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Okay. So the downturn in the economy. So we think things are going to be good, but there's a downturn in the economy. Okay. So that usually messes everything up. Okay. So nice. if you have, okay. yeah. So we had plans to go on a picnic today, but the rain messed up our plans. Okay, but the rain messed up our plans. Okay, okay so thank that's another you. example. Mm -hmm. uh, Franco, good Franco, number five. Okay, I'm not. I'm not so worried about the economic future. I'm sure things are going to breeding up, brighten up. Good. Brighten up. Mm -hmm. Yep, brighten up. So yeah, um, boy. I really love working with Jane. She brightens up the day. Okay. Uh, Jennifer brought in some cookies today that brightened up the day. So brighten up. So brighten like sunshine. Okay. Sunshine. You know, bright, bright light. Okay. So it brightens up, makes you happy. Go ahead. Next one. I don't really, I don't really want to talk to him about our plans yet, but I will mention, mention it. If if the subject, I don't know why he did it's okay. is the is the is if the subject coming up comes up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Did the um did the plans to go to Vegas come up? Okay. Did the um you know did your fight between your mother and your sister come up in the discussion? Okay. All right. Sometimes things just come up. Okay, so Johnny. I have a no, question. Uh, go ahead. For example, if if he I wait, if he I waiting for a get my degree, I can uh, uh, I can use this word. For example, I came up my degree. Um, no, you wouldn't come up. Uh, you wouldn't come up with your degree. Okay. Um, yeah, you just want to use come up as far as with that. Uh, let's see. So another way of come up, if you owe somebody money, you have to come up with the money. Okay? All right? And then usually things just come up. So, wow, boy, this is killing my ears. Holy Toledo. Yeah, I don't know who's who's got the um, the buzzing... Wow, I don't I don't know how hard it is to uh, not buzz. Um, so yeah, so so yeah, so anyway, so um, yeah, those are ways that things come up. It come up, okay. But your degree, as far as getting your degree, that wouldn't just come up, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. So Mon, that noise was coming from you, Mon. Uh, Johnny, Sorry? number seven. Sorry? Yeah, I think. No, I think there was a buzz coming from you. Just make sure you don't mess with your computer too much. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yep, yeah, it's okay. Um, Johnny, number seven. Good teacher. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Things are getting worse and worse. All my problems seem to be bumping up. Um, heaping up, heaping up. Heaping like, up. Yeah, okay, like a okay. pile, like you heap on a pile, okay? Right, number eight, Maxwell. Okay, sure. mm -hmm. Number eight. Me? Me too? Yep, go ahead. Maxwell used illegal means to help uh, to jab his chair, please. To jump up his, pr his chair, please. Yeah, right? so you jack up, mm -hmm. yep, you jack up a price. Different things like that, okay? All right. Okay. okay. You you right. also jack up a car too, though. All right. So um, let's see. So Mon number nine. Hello, Mon number nine. <coughs> oh, s sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. I think the economy will soon be doing better. I see sign that it's it's beginning to 
pick up, pick up, pick up. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Things pick up. So, uh, so work picks up. Okay. Things Can I are, ask you what the things... meaning of the other words? Um. Let's see. I see signs. Which which word? Uh, like a place polish in hip. Yeah. So, well, so blaze up means to like smoke. Okay. So like to blaze up, like to light something. Okay. You usually blaze up a cigarette. Uh, hype up. Okay. Is to make something seem like it's better than what it is. So like a new movie, everybody hyped up the new movie, but in the end, in the end it was terrible. Okay. Uh, polish up. Uh, just we just don't use polish. I think they just stuck that in there. Okay, we don't really polish up something. You know, we can polish things, but we don't really don't use polish up. But if you're going to use polish up, it would just mean to make something shinier. So you polish your table, you polish metal, different things like that. Okay, um, number ten. Go ahead, Mon, number 10. Sir, uh, your performance is totally antiqu antiquate. Inadequate. Inadequate, Ani which, which inadequate. means... Inadequate. Yeah, which means not enough. If something's inadequate, it's not enough. So the performance is totally inadequate. It's not enough. It's not good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. You better... Empty space. Up your act at once. or get out. Build up. Uh, actually, it's sharpen. Okay, so sharpen. Oh. So when you th yeah, when you when you think of like a knife. Okay, so you know sharpening a knife. Okay. So you sharpen your skills, right? And this one here, you better sharpen up your act. Okay? All right. I'm sorry, I thought it's built because oh, no, uh, it's like it's built new place or built new thing. Um, yeah, but this one here isn't creating something new. Right? Okay? So what this is is taking the performance and sharpening it up. Do you see that? Okay, like your skills, you need to sharpen up your skills. You need to sharpen up your performance. You need to sharpen up on your knowledge of phrasal verbs. Okay? Thank you. All right. You're welcome. But also, too, don't get me wrong, Mon, you would still build up your vocabulary of phrasal verbs as well. Okay? So some of these are really close to each other, Mon. All right? Um, Mini number eleven. Number eleven. Um, he was very distant at first, but after we had been talking for a while, he began to warm up. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So uh, he wasn't a nice guy, but for some reason he warmed up every time he saw his granddaughter come in the room. Right. Okay. Yeah. When you when you first meet somebody, you know, it takes a little time for them to warm up. Even with you, sometimes it takes time for you to warm up to somebody new. Yes. Okay. Yes, my person is like that. Um, the computer worked impeccable at first, but then began to play up occasionally. Yeah, you know this this one. <laughs> this one's tough for me too, so don't don't worry. I, the only thing I can think of is play up occasionally, but um, you would think there's a better one than that. So I think this is again where they still have some of these UK ones stuck in there, because we don't we don't, we don't really use that. Doesn't make sense. Spice up also, but yeah, I'm not up. sure. Hypo or hypo. Yeah, well, well, what I'm saying is, pl yeah. So play up, we really wouldn't use that too much. Um, you know, so that worked impeccably, meaning always good, always doing yeah. really well. But then it began to, so again, you have the but, so it's the opposite. So I would even say, you know, mess up occasionally, you know? Yes, mess up. <laughs> so so yeah. instead of play up, um, yeah, I don't know. So, some of these are 
a little little off, a little bit of UK stuff, I guess. Uh, Agus, go ahead, Agus, number 13, please. All right. When news of the breakthrough gets out, the share price is going to uh, hype up. Uh, actually, um, well, I mean, they could hype up, but this is going to shoot up. So shoot up. And by the way, hype up. I understand why you're saying hype up, okay? Because people are going to see, oh, wow, there's this breakthrough. So to hype up, like to hype up a movie, like I was talking about, maybe hype up the company. So your logic is very good, Agus, okay? You're very logical with what you're thinking of. But this one is shoot up, okay? So, um, yeah, so like, for instance, uh, the oil refinery was, was um, destroyed by the terrorists. Therefore, gas prices shot up, okay? They shot up. That would be another example. Um, due to the good economy, the value of the dollar shot up, okay? All right. All right. Number, four it. Mm -hmm. Number 14. Me? Uh -huh, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Our results are very bad. I am going to have to find a way to keep them up before I send them on to the head office. Um, yeah, so this one here is dress them up. Okay? It's, it's all right. I know these are confusing, guys. I know people want to, and trust me, if I started clicking on all the other ones, trust me, these are all no. There's no tricks up my sleeve. Um, so, yeah, so dress up. So it's just like if you're going to go out to a fancy restaurant, you dress up. You look better than you typically do, right? You're not going to wear um, the, the jacket and everything that you're wearing right now if you went to a fancy dinner. You're going to dress up so that you look good. So now what happens here is you have some really bad results. You have to send them to head office, okay? You're going to dress them up. Okay, maybe not the most ethical thing in the world. But you're going to dress them up, but there is, but you can only dress up things so much. One of my favorite expressions when you try to dress something up or make it look better than what it is, they say um, you cannot put lipstick on a pig. Okay, so you cannot put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> and also, you, you can dress people by names. <laughs> um, I don't know about the trust people by names. Um, yeah, that might be another one. Um, I'm not really super familiar with that one, but I like the lipstick on on a pig. Okay, so you can't uh, put lipstick. I learned on it a from pig. my British teacher when I was mm. in the UK. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know about that. I'm not really not really sure. Okay. So ah jeez, I wish I wish you could show me this instead of wanting me to do the full resolution. So you can't put lipstick on a pig. Okay, but um but yeah, so yeah, Mina, you've heard of that, right? You can't put lipstick on a pig. So Yes, I you know, heard I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's bad, it's bad. You just you just yeah. can't uh, you can't fix it up um all that much. <laughs> it's funny some the stuff people come up with okay so here we go so there's your lipstick kind of pig um, okay so let's see here uh, yeah we have time just for one more why don't, why don't you do 15 and 16 for me Minnie since we only have time for a couple more anyway go ahead um, 14 and 16 or 15 and no, 16 15 and 16 okay um I have to open my document. It is only a vague idea. Vague, 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 yeah, and vague. Vague means it's just like you really haven't told me much. Okay, it's like, okay. Minnie, we're going on a trip this weekend. That's a vague idea. Like, well, where are we going? You know, so that's vague. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay, vague idea. We can. Uh, okay, I know this one. We can firm up the details later. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we can firm up our plans, okay, to kind of 
think them out. Okay, so good. Number sixteen. Um, I don't. I, I don't know much about that at all. I'll have to. Yeah, and this this one here. This one will be. Oops, not polish. Wow. Not polish. No, not spice. But I don't know the SWAT or. I've what not seen it? SWAT SWAT up. So yes, yeah, so SWAT up. So what is SWAT again, up? You're, what you're, you're, SWAT? Well, SWAT up. I mean, if you look at it in this context, what it means is to um, to learn about, right? To learn about. Yeah. If you look at how how it's in there, so SWAT, and I, I apologize. It's one of those where um, you know they add some of the words in from the UK, and it kind of throws me off. So yeah, so polish up. So I know what. Ah, uh, well. Okay. So SWAT. SWAT. Here, so it's slang. Okay. To study or work hard. Oh, okay. I see. And again, it's, okay. yeah, it's British. So British. Okay. So good. That's so good. So every, everybody made it through another class. Okay. So good job, everybody. All right. So Bill, Bill, next time we'll we'll get you into the class, okay? You just came in a little late, okay? Uh, Franco, take care. John